Hey guys, here here from my with Pro today. I'm going to be attempting to put an iPhone 7 battery in an iPhone 6S today. So let's get started. Okay guys, so before I get started, we'll need a few tools in order to do this repair. First thing is, we'll need the iHold Evo right here. This will hold the screen up while you're doing the repair making things 10 times easier. The second thing is two screwdrivers, Pentalope and Phillip heads. For the Pentalope though, I would recommend it to have a clear red handle. That one works the best. The next thing is a suction cup. And this last tool is 50-50 because if your adhesive is already weakened enough, you won't need the heat gun. But if your adhesive is strong, then you'll need it. That's why I said that. Because on my 6S Plus, the adhesive was still pretty darn strong actually. You can see the goop along the edge right here. That's the strong adhesive I was telling you about. Well, that's why you'll have to heat it up if you guys heat blue strong. All right, so now we take the suction cup and my 6S has died before we, I made this video. So that's all, the battery died on me. Now I'm gonna gently pry up till I can get my fingernail in there in order to help release the adhesive. This is the way you'll do it if you don't have a spudger on you. Sketch, just to let you guys know. But I would also recommend not to do this with your fingernail. If you, it was glue, then don't do this with your fingernail. Use a tool. But since I can't find my spudger right now, I'll have to use my fingernail just for this time. All right, so now we take our eye hold Evo and go and place it one right here, then place this part into the lightning connector. Sometimes this can get a little st stubborn sometimes. All right, there we go. Just like that, now the screen is being hold, held up for me. Makes this job a whole lot easier. So now, if you guys haven't already done it already, like I have, you'll have to remove a battery shield, which looks like this. See, this is the shield you have to remove on the 6S if you haven't already done it. But since I've already done it, because I used to use this phone as an experimental phone in 2021, I just never got a chance to put it back together, that's all. I'll do that after the video. And if you guys have battery adhesive strips like this one has, then you'll have to remove the Taptic Engine on the 6S in order to give it more clearance. And if, this, if, if the tabs break, you'll have to use the credit card method, which is this, like this, just pry it under the battery and it'll come right out. It takes a lot of patience though, but it will be easier if you guys use purple Isaac alcohol. That would help dissolve the adhesive, make it easier to pry it out. But the credit card method works the best. This trick, it can just break through any adhesive, like the iPad glue and pretty much anything. Pretty impressive. Next thing, go ahead and release the battery cable. Sometimes this battery cable is a little stubborn. Okay, there we go. And the battery comes right out because I already released the glue. See, there's the 6S battery, 2015. And this battery is a 1715 milliamp hour battery. Okay, so now get your iPhone 7 battery. You'll have to make some mods to this before it works. First of all, you'll have to reshape the cable like this in order to get it to fit. If you don't do that, then the cable won't reach to the connector. Because on the first fold, make sure you can do it right uh, there between the tape line, between the connector and the ribbon. If you do it too tight, it will rip. So you use very gently. Then on the second fold, make sure you cr don't crease it with your nail. Just fold it, like pinch it with your fingernails, but don't crease it. So you have to line it up right here with this symbol for it to work like this. So it should look like this after you guys do the folds, which is normal. But if you guys do this for the first time, it, it'll be very tricky to get this battery in because the connector won't pop for the first time. So once you guys have the cable just fold just enough so it won't stick out and push the connector out, so you just pry it right down just like that. Now I'm going to release the iHold Evo and go ahead and put the screen back down. So sometimes it takes a little bit of practice. Now I'm going to turn the phone on. And there we go. The iPhone 7 battery works in the iPhone 6S. Okay guys, so I'm back and my iPhone 6S has finished powering on. Guys, you can see 87% battery power, just like this. And I forgot to mention, that iPhone 7 battery I had, I put in the phone, was actually a spare part. I pulled down another iPhone 7 with good battery life. That's all it is. It was cheaper just for this video. So before I was replaced the battery, it would read 75% battery health and give me the important service message. But then after I replaced the battery, put the 7 battery in, it's now reading normally again. It can it now says the battery is currently supporting normal peak performance, which is normal. 
I did not have to reprogram the battery in any way possible, which is nice. And it actually made the success performance a lot quicker too. But my Wi-Fi has been kind of slow all day, so it's running a little slower than usual. So even though the network speed didn't change, the performance when launching apps and going into old tabs works. See, 120 gigabyte iPhone 6S, 15.7.1. So I've not updated this phone in quite a while. So I'm just amazed that the iPhone 7 and iPhone 6S have the exact same battery connector. So I'm actually getting a higher milliamp hour battery in the phone by doing this. The old battery read 1715 milliamp hours. The new battery I put in this phone from the 7 has 1940 milliamp hours. So I got a slightly higher capacity battery than I originally had. So I'm getting slightly better battery life as well. And after putting this phone through a lot of testing last night before this video, that's what you should always do that before making a video. Test it multiple times before you make a video. You'll get a higher chance of succeeding if you test more before a video. I'm just saying. Then I tested it. The old battery would drain 60% in less than an hour. For all successes do that, drain rapidly and overheat. The new battery drained only 10% in about three hours, an hour to three hours which is very impressive, so I got better battery life out of an iPhone 7 battery than the original. That's impressive. So, also, you gotta put the battery shield cover back on in the phone like this after you guys do this. I just haven't had a chance to put it back in yet on my phone, but I recommend you guys doing that. And put some new battery adhesive down as well. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video, give, give it a thumbs up for the next video. Peace out.